Hello and welcome to ITM. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to delete Windows folder. And I'm not talking about deleting Windows folder of the currently running Windows operating system, but I'm talking about the Windows folder that is sitting on some other partition of your hard drive or some other external hard drive. So let's see how to do that thing. So there are basically two ways available. The first way is while you're running into Windows, normally Windows doesn't allow you to delete the Windows folder. So what you need to do is you need to become the owner of that folder and then you need to give yourself permission to delete that folder. So this is while you're running in Windows operating system and then you are deleting the Windows of some other partition or hard drive. The second way is that you boot off from the recovery partition or you boot off from Windows PE or boot off from Windows DVD or flash drive and then you perform the delete operation. So let's see both the ways. So over here you can see that if I go to disk management, I have already inserted the external drive and I have over here F drive and G drive and both of them they have Windows installation. So if I right click and open and you can see we have Windows sitting over here. So now if I normally try to delete shift and shift delete and enter key and then it says that you don't have administrative privileges. So I'll go ahead and click cancel and right click and go to properties and go on to security advance and you can see that by default the windows folder the owner of that folder is trusted trusted installer I just need to change that and currently I'm logged in as the user named Zishan and I'm gonna give that user the permissions click on OK and then I want to give the permission the ownership permission to each and every subfolder so i'll just select this one and I click on ok and now it's giving the same permission same ownership to each and every single file and this is gonna take some time i'll be back once this is done okay so the ownership is done i'm gonna click on ok and now i have to get the full permission so that i can delete that so i can right click and go to properties and I go to security and advance and now either I can add myself over here and I give full permissions or I can update the existing administrators group and give them full permission so I'll click on administrators because I'm already the member of administrators group I'll get, just go ahead and click full mem control and I'll just click on over here replace all the child permissions so in this case I'm getting permission a full permission on all the child folders so I'll click on OK and yes and this again is gonna take some time and I'll be back once this is done okay so the permission stuff is done I'll go ahead and click on OK and I can shift delete and press enter key and that folder is going to get deleted. Now I have done this for Windows but you can do it for program files, program files x86 or users folder also. So I'll be back once this deletion is done. Okay, so you can see that the windows got deleted. Now let's go on to the second part where I'm going to show you how to delete the windows folder or any other system folder using command line. So let's get started. Okay, so here I'm on my machine where I have just one hard drive and that hard drive contains two windows installations. So if I go to disk management and here you can see that I have C drive and E drive, two drives are there and both of them they have Windows 10 installation for you it could be different operating systems. So if I don't want to use the Windows sitting over here if I right click open you can see here also we have a Windows installation or if I go to C drive there also I have Windows installation. So if I want to delete the Windows folder from this one first of all just make sure that this is not the default Windows operating system by going on to MS config. So when I go to MS config, you can see when I go to boot, C should be your default operating system. So next time you boot is goes to the C drive rather than going to the E drive. 
so that's it so all you need to do is just uh, restart your machine in the recovery mode by clicking on over here shut down and press shift key and click on restart or if you have the Windows 10 installation DVD or a USB drive you can use that so I'll just simply go ahead and restart I have already inserted the Windows installation DVD is gonna prompt me to restart using Windows installation disk okay I'll press enter key And now you need to press shift F10 to get to the command prompt to delete it. If you don't remember the shortcut key, just go ahead and click on next, repair your computer. And say I want to troubleshoot and you can choose command from here also. So any of the options you can use. So now here we need to give the command to delete the Windows folder that you want to delete. Now here you need to be careful windows you are deleting of the c drive or e drive and secondly i'm going to show you something over here when i go to c drive and i do dir show the content you're going to see there is nothing inside the c drive so the reason behind this is that whatever was your recovery partition 550 mb that has become c drive and whatever was your c drive that has become d drive and whatever was your e drive that has become E drive over here so if I go to E drive DIR and that's what was your E drive over there if you have any confusion you can go to the disk part and inside the disk part if you say list volume so L I S V O L for volume and from here you can see that the last partition was 40 gigs you can see it's 40 gigs partition and the drive letter assigned is E so I'm going to exit from here and if I say DIR you can see that all the Windows system folders are there. So I want to delete the Windows folder so I'll say RD for remove directory. Uh, if you don't remember the switches you can press forward slash question mark uh, showing you that if you want to delete all the subdirectories put the switch forward slash S and if you want to do, do the silent deletion you can put forward slash Q. So I'll put forward slash s forward slash q case sensitive is it's not case sensitive so you type in uppercase or lowercase doesn't make any difference and then windows is the folder that i want to delete and hit enter key and it's gonna wipe the entire windows folder so in here in that case you don't need to worry about the, the permissions you can delete all other program files and program files x86 and users folders also easily so this is the easiest way how you can delete the, the windows folder while running inside the gui the operating system or from the command line by booting on to the recovery mode or from windows installation dvd or windows pe dvd so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video